just heard me play my version of Train I Write by uh, Fred McDowell, Mississippi Fred McDowell, and uh, my version is also based on what uh, Mike Dowling plays. I took some ideas from that version as well. And we're in open G tuning, so D, G, D, G, B, and D. So you just lower your E strings to D and you lower your fifth string to G and then you have open G. I tapped out uh, my version and open the video description if you want to get that tap. But I'm sure you can learn it without a tap also. Anyway, here we go. I'll play the verse accompaniment uh, slowly. Notice that the bass is played open and then muted in most cases. And let's start with, with a slide to the fifth fret. I'm playing a clean slide. I mean by that, you see my index finger is resting on the strings slightly, so it eliminates the unwanted slide noises. Anyway, that's a personal choice you make, of course. I don't think Fred McDowell uh, muted at all after the slide. Anyway, with an electric guitar, it doesn't play. Well, it's not that important. Okay, slide to the fifth fret. Double bass here on the third beat of the first measure. And then we have fingering. Slightly bent, but not much. I have to do that with my pinky if your slide is on the fourth finger. On your pinky, you'll have to do that with your third finger. And then... And then normally, Fred McDowell plays it every, on the third fret, second string, but I went to the seventh fret. It's also a, a D. And I tilt my slide so the open E string can uh, ring also, so in unison, uh, so to speak. So the fourth measure. And also that. See me picking with two fingers, one for the third string and one for the index, the, for the first string. And that's a rake with my index upwards followed by the bass. So. So 
that's the, the vamp of the song. Slide to the third fret and I'm doing it with a down, down stroke for the fifth, fourth and third string. And up, stro an up stroke with the index, a rake. And it starts at the second part of the third beat and it ends at the fourth beat when you play the, the thumb. So you can practice like that. So double bass there. Triplet. And now that's important in the seventh bar. You will see that that slides to the third fret, followed by a rake. Here it's on the second part of the third beat instead of on the first part of the third beat in the sixth measure. And so you have to let it ring, uh, let's say, uh, almost a half a beat longer. And if you don't do that, well, you get in trouble with the rhythm. <laughs> So the, the full phrase of the sixth and seventh bar is You see that? It's a bit longer. One more time. So the sixth bar. with uh, a little bit of vocals. under the tap the lyrics well of, at least of one verse but not every verse is the same here and you can fool around especially in the first sentence for example train I ride. that's three syllables train I ride but I thought I heard that's one more so you have to I thought I heard you have to play one more uh, hit there and according to your vocals, you're going to do that. That's the fit there. Go and buy me a ticket. Get away from my window. I'm worried now, baby. See? Also the following. I won't be worried long. Of course you can sing twice, I won't be worth long, then it's two times the same thing, but I drop the I, so it's one slide less. I won't be worried, I won't be worried long, won't be worried long. So that's the difference, and it, well, you have to adapt it according to your vocals, of course. And Be also, or should I say, um, don't be tight with your uh, slide arm. I rest my temp always on the back of uh, the neck. So, I can let that see. And then you have a, a pivot with your uh, left hand and it's easy to, to slide. Instead of your using your whole arm, which I don't think is the best solution. All right, let's do, for the fun of it, one more verse. Um, without without the, um, the bass. I did that for the last uh, verse, the repeat of the first verse. Train I ride, she's 16 coaches long. 
She's 16 coaches long The train arrived She's 16 coaches long I did a couple of variations, well in a way I play the same thing but Instead of going to the 7th fret here, you can go to the 3rd fret and play the 1st string open, so you have a unison sound. So. I didn't do in those verses where I use that variation, but simply like that. And Fred plays on the second string without a slide, he fingers it. I have rather heavy strings, so you get a clean sound. But if you don't have heavy strings uh, for this, then the slide on the second string that uh, close to the first position going to sound a bit uh, buzzing, I think. It's the same thing as, uh, as this. So that's a variation in the verses with vocals. Now the solo, Fred McDowell doesn't do any solo, uh, it's a long song and he keeps on producing verses, I kept it to uh, six verses, and uh, he doesn't do a solo, so I had to invent something, so that's with, I came up with this. That's not it. All right, I have to look at a tap to see what I really have done. <laughs> so that's the first part. I'm sliding to the 12th fret and I'm playing. All the notes are played with two fingers. One finger for one uh, for each string. Uh, now for the, th the third and the second string and when we go up for the first and the second string. So and notice the muting with the, the right hand. I simply place my fingers on the strings after I pick them so it gets a short sound. Notice that for the I go back to make it louder. Second part. That's pretty clear. So the second time I'm doing practically the same thing. Yeah. 
that's it. And here, I lift a slide because I don't want that that first string goes up again. And now we have the vamp again. All right. So when we come back uh, from the the high part here, then um, we're doing the vamp and then so for our five chord we're going to a D again you can do a thousand variations here And then we're going to the eighth fret. Um, we have a double bass there. So I'm sliding to the eighth fret in the second string, or more strings in the upstroke, and then a downstroke. So. And then a quick and for muting purposes I play that with two fingers and I mean by that that's with the second finger on the first ring then I'm resting my uh, second finger on the first ring and picking with my index and then I move over my second finger to kill that sound when I go to the seventh fret. And then you have a clean, uh, otherwise, those other strings on a ring with you because your slide is resting on those. So that's muting when you go from one string to another. You do that with two fingers and you move up your right hand fingers. And for the ending I'm playing three times the, the vamp and slow down the last time. principle first with the in the uh, second thing on the first ring resting it for the train all right one more thing um, in that fourth bar if you have difficulty with that um, triplet you can simply play don't be afraid to adapt it to your own taste and possibilities all right have fun with some slide